Hello. Well, it's time for Is It Go Cinema? Episode 2. Did I want it to watch um, The Lost World from 1925? That was a request from Ditto. And I thought, that's a great movie. We're actually dipping into like the silent cinema. So we've only really got a soundtrack to back us up. I will read all the cards that come up. Um, because, let's be honest, it's cool to have some context. And I'm assuming not everyone out there in Twitch land can read. <laughs> well, um, I guess without further ado, we can probably just uh, start the old film, hey? See no reason not to just get right into it. We're going to see some amazing special effects in this film. Like, I'm really excited about it. So here we go. The Lost World. It's a stupendous story. I'm glad that Jocko's playing himself. If they got Jocko to play a character, it just wouldn't be the same. So this movie runs for about an hour and eight minutes. So it's not a particularly long movie. Oh man, look at that. The cast is uh, slowly but surely getting enveloped by that, uh, by the frame there. Okay. Just try and keep up with what's happening here. There are people, are they looking at maps or reading newspapers? Dinos, we're about, what's up, Bat Prince? I want your legal advice, Professor Challenger. Threatens to sue my paper for doubting his yarn about live dinosaurs. Blah, 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 blah. Me, 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 me. Oh, oh, oh. Preposterous. I believe the challenger is insane. He nearly killed three reporters I sent to interview him today. Insane. This has been the most dialogue heavy silent film I've ever seen. Mr. McArdle, couldn't you send me on a dangerous assignment? All I need is an opportunity. Oh, look what you've done, mate. You've spilled it everywhere. Everyone's getting a bit angry in this movie. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, no, no. Oh, he's fallen over and into the office. This is not good. This is a... He's in trouble now. He might get fired. Have you been interviewing Challenger Malone? What's up, mess man? Oh, he's got to go have a shower. His face is covered in shit. Don't apologize. Hurry over to the zoological hall and cover Challenger's lecture. Reporters are barred. But get in. Get in. What's up, mess man? Hope you're doing well. Get in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't stop him. I can't wait till we start to see all the dinosaurs. By the way, on my screen it actually has uh, more of a sepia tone. However, oh, I wonder what kind of dinosaur that isn't. <laughs> Brahim, I like that. Three and a half minutes into this film. There's Sir John Roxton, famous hunter and explorer. He's here to check up on Challenger's cock and bull story. Cock and bull story, I do declare. Come on, Challenger. Little bitch. Why 
Well, Malone, we're in for a lively session tonight. The students are out in force to heckle old Challenger. And heckled he shall get. Loser! You're a loony! He's nuts! You're gonna go sleep on the couch, so be entertaining. Okay, I'll try. Challenger made himself a public laughing stock with his tale about live dinosaurs. What can he hope to gain by such lies? Hope you're okay, Bat Prince. The back country of the Amazon contains over 50,000 miles of unexplored waterways. Who can say what may be living in that jungle? As vast as all Europe? Well, I mean, I think we have a better idea now, and unfortunately it's not quite dinosaurs. Unless you watch Jurassic Park. Because that's set, you know, what, off the coast of... Oh, uh, fuck. Peru, is it? Reporters are barred. If I show my press pass, I will get kicked out. I wonder if you... If you what? If you what?! Gladly, I'll take you in on my pass. Well, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I like these silent movies because often they move really quickly. You don't need to, like, sit down and establish too much. It's just, here's what's happening, now it's going to happen. Because in five minutes we've learned that we have an old... Co That's Professor Summerlee. That eminent... Coleopterist. I mean, I can't even read that word. Owing to lack of proofs, the society cannot sponsor Professor Challenger's statements, but is glad to afford him this opportunity to state his case, and we trust clear his name. Clear that name! Do it. I dare you, you piece of shit. He's a liar. Lying scum. Look at that guy. He's definitely a loony. Here we go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now what's he gonna say? Bring on your mastodons. Bring on your mammoths. <laughs> I will if any of your spineless worms are brave enough to go back with me into the trackless jungles where these monsters live. Also known as blah, 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 dinosaurs, blah, they're real, blah, blah, they're totally real. Bro, you don't believe me. I told you, old challenger is sincere. He's given a rival speech. And I'm not here tonight to defend my statements, but to demand that a committee be formed to go back to the Lost World with me. The Lost World. Did they check under the couch? I'm nearly 60 years of age, but because I think you are a liar and a fraud, I accept your challenge, sir. Well, I think we know who the first to die is going to be. Mr. 60-year-old man. <clears throat> I'm ex half expecting him to blow his nose on it. I'm neither a student nor a scientist, but I'd like to be counted on this. Oh, my friend, Sir John Roxton, accepted. Your record as Aunt of the Game will add weight to your testimony if we return. If. He did say if. So I'm starting to think that maybe we might not get the happy ending we all want. So within eight minutes, we've established everything that's pretty much supposed to happen here. Professor Challenger, I'd like to go on this expedition. And who mind you? Probably the brain of a child, but the body of an athlete. Accepted. What is your name? 
What is your name? Edward E. Malone. I look like a vampire. And your occupation? Say unemployed right now. I'm a, 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 a reporter, sir, London Record Journal. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Leg it! Where'd he go? I'm gonna wring his neck! Man, I'm actually enjoying doing this silent film. This is great. This movie's fantastic. I'll find you, Mr. Reporter. Take me home. I've had enough of this. 11 Edmore Park, Kensington West. To be fair, you'd think he'd be like, oh yeah, reporter? Well, fine. You want to come see how dangerous it is and shit? You want to see that I'm not goddamn lying? Hmm. No, I'm grumpy. I'm feeling he's grumpy a lot, though. He's going to get busted. No? He's just going to break in. Whatever. You you do you, Cricket. You do you. What in blazes? Professor Challenger, I've got to go on this expedition. The girl I'm engaged to won't marry me until I face death or... or or what? Or dinosaurs? Kill him! Kill him! He's gonna get thrown straight. Oh, look at them tumble around. Oh boy, oh boy, that is a fight. Oh, they're both falling down the stairs now. Stop it! Stop it! Stop fighting! I don't demand. This man attacked me. Did you give him? Do you give him a charge, sir? In charge? Do you give him in charge, sir? God, help if I could read. No, I was to blame. I intruded upon him. Then stop wasting my time. Nothing to see here. Clear out. Come on. Move along. Now, sir, can't we talk about this, exp this expedition over sanely? Sir John Roxton is a friend of mine. Why didn't you mention that before? God. Ay, ay, ay. I kicked your ass for nothing. Sit down. Do it. Giving him a long, hard stare. Austin! 
Yo, Chris, what's up? Uh, you missed about 14 minutes of the movie so far. But they haven't left yet, so you're good for now. Do it. Tell Miss White I wish to see her at once. At once. This guy is batshit. Absolutely batshit insane, by the way. Just saying. They just had a, a like a proper tussle. They fell down the stairs. The police got involved, so. Hello. Charmed. <laughs> Have you shown Malone the diary? Yeah, I don't think I should. Ugh, I hate this kid already. If you could read, read it. Oh, I bet you can't even get past the first page. Whoa, a chick. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Hey, baby. What are you saying? Kill him. Miss Paula White, the daughter of poor Maple White, the unfortunate explorer whose notebook you hold in your hands. Was I eaten by a T-Rex? The pleasure is all mine, I swear. Miss White was her father's trained assistant. She will tell you why she came to me. I'm intrigued. Say it. Well, actually, I was in camp with Jungle Fever when my father went up to explore that terrible plateau. I know, where are all the run-ins? This clue was not written by a genius writer like Vince Russo. We'll get run-ins later, maybe. Oh, boy. Look at those illustrations. You mean that you actually saw living descendants of these monsters that are supposed to have been dead for millions and millions of years? Millions of years. Again, this has been the most text-heavy silent film I've ever watched so far. Yes, they were tremendous in size and ferocity. Our bearers were so terrified they deserted, carrying me back to the coast, leaving my father marooned up there with those beasts. Bro, there are dinosaurs, bro. It's a swerve, bro. Oh, oh, father, no, no, my father. So you see. He would go in spite of what we had seen. That's probably a fact in this movie, to be honest. My husband promised to raise funds for a rescue party, but instead of getting people to help him, he throws them out of houses and things. Because he's an angry, angry man. Ha 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 ha. Yes, I'll go. Why, this is a great human interest story. Well, I would say that Living Dinosaurs is more than just a goddamn story. And even if my paper was not convinced of the scientific value of your statements, it might finance a rescue party, provided the exclusive publication rights.
You really think so? Oh, oh, please. No, all right. You have yourself a deal. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, good. Everything is going to be okay. We're going to find Daddy. Oh, we're going to find Daddy, aren't we? If Sir John Roxton will be will go with me, I believe we can make my managing editor see this thing. You want me to bring a camera? Click. Oh, this is a fantastic book. I wish I could read. Where is everybody going? Well, I think we're getting to that point now where we're actually going to start to go and witness some dinosaurs. I'm sure you know why, and why I'm going on this rescue party, Paula, don't you? God, so much text. No, please remind me in as many words as possible. Because whoever watches this film should have to read more than they watch. For DJ Poo! <laughs> oh, 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 Daddy, come back. Explorers reach last outpost of civilization. Record party, sir. No, I'm not even gonna try. I've already, I've already fallen way too far behind. Read for thine selves. Oh, are we, are we there now? Uh oh. I see some natives. Are they going to be suspiciously white? Is my question. Oh no! Jungle cats! Oh boy. Be careful. Be careful, fellas. S -s 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 snake Yeah, they, they had to take some of the dinosaurs out and replace them with just these regular animals and of course uh, natives because no one would ever suspect that. Oh monkey! No, I don't wanna go! I don't wanna go! No! That poor little monkey, he looks horrified. Let go of me! Where are you going? It's a Brazilian sloth. They always walk head downward. See the baby clinging to her? <laughs> a fine specimen indeed. This has now become an educational film. Oh, it's lovely. I love it. I can't wait to see more animals. That's a beautiful landscape. He's typing up some original text. It is the. Th it is just three weeks since we sent back the canoes, and tonight we are camping at the base of a great plateau upon which Maple White was marooned. Challenger has guided us to this spot and proven that the plateau is in fact, but we have no reason to believe that any monsters are roaming about up there. In fact, I don't think... I don't think 
What doesn't he think? What don't I think? I can't think out here. It's too loud. No. I want the food, but I want some too. Where's Mama Bear at? They better be careful. They're not cubs, but full-grown spectacle bears. Great camp followers. Oh, we have spectacle bears. What's a spectacle bear? I've never heard of that before. Is that even a real thing? Or is that something they thought was real in the 20s, but has, has been disproven? This is the old, time for the old fact checker. Oh god, look at that thing! It looks almost animatronic. It's the last remaining short-faced bear, so it is real. Poor Paula says her father felled on one of the trees on that pinnacle so that it dropped across the chasm and made a bridge. You can still see the stump of the old tree. Mamma mia! We must scale up there. You're mad. In the morning, we'll climb the pinnacle and drop the other tree over. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Uh-oh. They're going to drop a boulder. Everybody move! We could have been killed. Gather up your rifles, boys. We're going hunting. What is this? It's some form of eagle. It could be a pigeon. Or a crow. It could be an owl. A vulture. A pterodactyl, proving definitely that the statements in poor Maple White's diary are true! How dare you motherfuckers ever doubt me? Until the sun rises up. That guy's spooked. Look at him. He's like, no, I don't know if I want to go all the way up there. But here's my thing, right? If they get all the way up there, right? Oh, they're already all the way up there. Okay. And they get across. Oh, timber! Well, that's convenient. <gasps> well, now we've actually seen a proper, actual, legitimate dinosaur. What's going on? I hope there's more food for me. Hope no one falls. Although eventually someone needs to die, right? Yeehaw! We made it! But those ape-like beings... Are no doubt going to cause you some stresses. So what happens if that log falls? You guys are doomed. I hope you realize that. I will steal the girl. No! Come on, quick! Don't look down! Okay, I'm just a little bit scared. Because you know, women are fragile and weak. That's what we learn from these movies. Shh. 
she is beautiful. Everybody come look. The final person must cross now. Oh boy, that could have gone way worse. But it didn't, so they should be happy. A brontosaurus feeding mealy on leaves, perfectly harmless. Yeah, unless it happens to step on us. Wow. Oh my god. Are you going to shoot it? Are you going to shoot it? Look, the monkey's coming. The fucking monkeys is coming. Nope, nope, I'm going back. Screw you guys. Uh-oh. We have a problem. We might just have a problem, guys. Uh-oh. No. No! He's removing the log! Shoot her! Shoot her! Oh, too late. They're doomed. Whatever will we do? Great guns! We can't get back! We're prisoners! Exactly like Maple White! Take revenge. Take revenge on this creature of which you don't know how many are left in the world. Could be the only one left. Not all sauropods are brontosaurus. Well, I mean, he he didn't specifically state that it was a sauropod. He said brontosaurus, so it could just be a brontosaurus. Also, the fossil records were probably incredibly wrong back then. So what we're seeing is not actually a brontosaurus. It's a mix between like five or six different sauropods, to be fair. I mean, just wait till we see the T-Rexes. That's going to really get your blood boiling. <laughs> That'll get the blood boiling and then some. All right, here come the... Uh, the primate people. What are you thinking of, Paula? In this lost world of ours... Oh, I don't know. Hold me. I don't know much about dinosaurs, but I do love fluffy kittens. I was thinking if my father was still alive, he would have seen our fire and come to us. Bow, bow. Unless he's taken prisoner by the primate people. Tied to a tree. Let us have a, um, a party. A party. A, a search party. Not a... Well, I mean, if you want to have a, a booze party, we can we can have a booze party, but... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Here we go. Rawr! Nom, 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 nom. Rawr! Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Run away! Run away! My people... Nah, I'll get you. No, you won't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why, I oughta. Oh, dear. 
That would be very loud, huh? No, just let him fight! I want to see the conclusion of this epic battle! Look at this beautiful stop motion. Is that a Spinosaurus? Uh oh, oh dear, oh no! 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 Oh, he's tumbled down into the into the water. At least I've got something to eat now. As long as the T-Rex... An Allosaurus, a meat-eater, the most vicious pest of the ancient world. So it's an Allosaurus, it's not actually a Tyrannosaurus Rex. When did they discover the Tyrannosaurus then? Or do they not really know the difference for a while? Just a mild bother, is what I would say. The most mild... <laughs> the, 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 the most bothersome... Oh look! Look at that beautiful creature. Oh, there's a baby one! Aww. I'm really impressed by the special effects of this movie. Oh, the baby's screaming in the other room. That's just the sound of the baby, um, the, the, the baby Triceratops there. Hide! The Allosaurus is coming! In Hell Creek. But then why was there a T-Rex in Jurassic Park? The very first fossil must have been found. Oh, he got away! They got, they got off scot-free! Nice! When was T-Rex discovered? Look at that tongue. 1902. So they knew about it. I guess maybe they just didn't have full proper records or anything. Uh-oh. Ow! Hot, 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 Oh no, here, come, here it comes. Oh no! Triceratops, no! Oh wait, wait, wait! Hey! Prince of Bats. Master of Dinos. <laughs> oh, ding ding. Follow him. Oh, wait, he can jump really high. That Triceratop was a goddamn badass. Just took down that Allosaurus like it wasn't even. I don't think Ditto is here, no, but that's fine. This is a dinner request, but uh, she might enjoy watching the bod. Oh no. Another one? Oh, this is not even fair now. Oh no. Triceratops. No. No. Somebody do something. A packy rhinoceratops? It could be. I mean, it's a run-in. It's true. We got our first run-in of the movie. Vince Russo would be proud. This is getting too violent. I'm feeling sick. See, the thing is, as we all know... 
well, most of us know. Back in these days, and in fact, it still kind of happens to this day. Oh my god, you piece of shit. You, you're going to run everything extinct yourself. You jerk. He's not even eating the food. He's just killing stuff. But yes, back in back in these days, and I mean, even to like now, some fossils are just wrong. Jocko, go and be mighty lonesome down there. Here with Phelps, Miss Polar, and he climbed out a big rock this morning to get her. He can't bear that girl out in his sight. I'm starting to think this is um, a bit racist. Come on. I have an idea. After supper, bring all those hammocks into the tent. All those hammocks. Whatever should we do? Oh, oh, oh. Are they trying to build themselves a little hut, a little house home? Now that we found these caves, we could live here the rest of our lives if we had kind of some kind of weapon capable of making a dent in a dinosaur. A dinosaur. I am now inventing such a weapon. On the fly, just like that, brother. But it is awful sweaty out. When I released the tree, it was snapped back with terrific force, hurling the rock through the air. So you basically made a trebuchet. I think they only want to kill the Allosaurus because it's threatening them. Oh, they found a skeleton. Oh, dear. Oh no. -y. Oh boy. Yep. Look at the music is still all happy. Oh I'm afraid I've got some bad news. It's full, but it wasn't even eating the stuff it was killing. Oh gosh, I'd better go break the news to the poor lass. Oh dear, oh the humanity. He likes to age the meat. The catapult was my idea. I was behind the zone, the only one who can save you and turn things around. Look! I'm afraid I've got some bad news. They didn't even have to go all the way out there. I mean, now they've at least proven that the dinos are real, but the likelihood of them getting home seems indeed quite low. <sighs> the cat here. We'll work all night to make enough ladder to get you in the morning.
Fine, but how in thunder do you expect to get it up to us? You fools. Oh, we didn't think of that. Sorry. Bring Miss Ball to call Jocko. He'll climb anything to get to her. Oh, indeed. Good plan. Jolly good plan. There's only a small cave above this, but your father must be somewhere on the plateau. It's impossible to get away. Did they not just find his bones? Joko is hella simp. The OG simp. Do you mean we are to be here always? Always. What difference does it make where we are, Paula? So long as we are together. Aww. It must be love. 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 Get off me. But your engagement to Gladys. Oh, she's terrible. I'm over her. Paula, dear. We're as cut off from the world and its obligations and promises as if we were on the moon. Which is another movie we'll watch sometime. When we do shorts. We'll do a shorts episode. And I will wear shorts for the shorts episode. Woo! Oh gosh. Uh, break it up. I, um... Wanted to confess my love for you also. Give me a chance to plead my case. Oh, please. I'm going to ask Professor Summerlee to marry us. You know he used to be a minister. Oh, dear. I've got some bad news. Do I just tell them? Do I just come right out and tell them? Oh, gosh. All right, all right. I don't think your father will uh I don't think a uh, thruple that could work. <laughs> but uh before you get married, I should let you know your father is dead goodbye. Go hunt up the professors. I have something to tell Paula. Okay, indeed. Chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp, 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 chomp. We... We know that she knows the bad news now. At least we assume she does. A lovely specimen. We'll stalk it and observe its habits. Observe its habits, not observe its habits. That would be something a dumbass would say. Um, I, um, I found this. Uh, there was no person there. There was some bones. Oh. oh no! It can't be! I'm afraid so. Oh. oh no! No! I'll kill them all! All of the dinosaurs! They shall perish! It's huge! Let's capture it and bring it home! Uh oh. We have a problem, fellas.
Rah. Um, hi. Nice teeth. Oh god. Look at that thing. <gasps> no! Sploosh. It'll use its tail like a whip. But all the pterosaurs too. It might. It already ate one, so that would be terrible. <laughs> it really is just like maybe there was a lost world, but this fucker just ate them all, and then aliens took him. Oh man, is that still breathing? Oh boy, it's breathing! <laughs> that was a cool special effect. Monkey! And then there's Mr. Primate. Did they burn down the forest? But this has been going on for hours. I'm afraid they're lost. Oh! Oh! If they get back, we must be here to show them the way to the tunnel opening. It's their only hope of escape! Uh oh. Oh dear. Run! Run! We must get out! The lava is coming! Oh man, so all the dinos are just gonna die anyway? Austra I can't even say that. Australopithecus is looking at the capuchin in a lewd way. Run away! It's bubbling. Run away, dinosaurs! Get out of there! Oh boy, that thing is exploding proper. They'll never make it. Oh look, there's still dinosaurs there, nice. Seems they carry on. Man, that's a cool shot though. It actually looks really cool for the time. Babies! Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The Professor and Mr. Malone are safe. They'll be here in a minute or two. Unless... Ooh, ooh. Oh, 
uh, uh, find a way. Thank goodness for that convenient vine. Oh dear. What could possibly go wrong? No, don't fall. Be a good monkey. Thank you, monkey. Aww, coot. Oh, He's got a headache. He's all right, though. He'll be fine. Hold it steady. Hold steady. That's a long climb. And that is a tough ladder to climb. Jeez, that'll hurt. I suppose they did the best they could with what little they had. <laughs> hey, monkey. We made it. At least I made it. Uh-oh. Go on, old chap. It's time for us to leave. Oh, no. I don't like where this is going. I think someone is going to have their life ended prematurely by Mr. Primate. Oh, he's still so... Oh, he's in pain. Just put him out of his misery. He took a tumble. I can't wait to feast upon his flesh. Oh no. Is he going to drop him down? This suddenly just got intense. We could destroy the ladder. Pull it up! Pull it up! Oh no, the dogs! Apologies for the noise. Wee wee Shoot it Shoot it Oh no Oh he still held on And they killed the primate. thing it's probably too big for you to take the whole thing back though right ah certainly hopes that mud holds Oh, so that was the other guy speaking. I don't remember what I had for his voice. Oh, 
I certainly hope he gets out. Mm. We must save it. Congratulations, boys and, and girl. Major Hibbard of the Brazilian Geodic Survey. Yesterday I saw a cloud of smoke over the plateau. Well, you and we smoked out quite a rat, Major. Oh? Oh, look! Indeed! Jolly good. I am mildly impressed at most. I'd give my entire personal fortune to get that beast to London alive. Oh, golly gosh. Maybe that can be arranged. I'll send for men to dredge that out of the stream and build a steel cage and a raft, and when the big rains come next month, we might float your rat out. Your rat. Oh, you think so? Surely good. Later in London. Nice uh, street view that is so dark you can't really see anything. Oh, so what's happening now? We've got... Uh, People walking upstairs after seeing some beautiful, beautiful specimens, some fossil remains. No, oh, you thought I was lying. Cheers, Katobi. True. Mr. Edward Malone, through whose efforts this expedition was financed, is now superintending the unloading of the monster from the ship we chartered. <clears throat> Everything's going to be alright. Indeed! The message I have been expecting has come. I'll inform you in a moment when and where the Brontosaurus will be on view. On view. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. All you doubters, kiss my ass. Hello. Hi. Um, just uh, as we swung the cage over the dock, the, ca the cables broke. It drowned, didn't it? You what? Oh, it, uh, the, 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 the fall smashed the cage and it got out. It's running wild. The streets are in an uproar. Oh, God damn it. Now I'm getting sued for sure. No, oh, there's no trees here. Oh, run away, run away. Run away. What's all this then? My Brontosaurus has escaped. Keep off the streets until I recapture it. This is an outrage! We've been hoaxed again! Challenger should be run out of town! Wait! No! My father was killed by one of these creatures! Silence! Is Challenger gonna get moited? Are you gonna moiter him? Ooh. 
they did. Rip to them. <laughs> These effects are so good. Tail whip. Tail whip. That does not taste very nice. I should move on to the next area. He's just hungry, guys, and scared because you took him away from his home. Oh, smash. Oh, dear. I wonder if I'm actually going to get a conclusion here. Because there's only a couple minutes left in this film. Yeah, we're not going to get to see the end, apparently. It's just going to cut off. What? You can't do this. Maybe we'll take an intermission. And I'll see if I can find the other half. Yes, we shall take an intermission and I will find the other half. It's not even the other half, it's like... I don't even know, probably like 40 minutes. Oh no, I'm crashing the bridge! Spoosh. I should get one, huh? If I could animate, I would make one, but I can't animate because I'm terrible. Sung by Randy Nunam. Wait, maybe it is going to end. Is it like a shorter version of it? Okay, now there's, there's a ton of different versions of it. This is right. This is the end. That's Sir John Roxton, the sportsman. Now, Kith. <laughs> the end! That was the end. I thought it said it went for like an, much longer than that. So that's brilliant. I think, I don't know what I want to watch next week. Um, that's probably a discussion worth having right now. I'm thinking... Maybe... I missed the ending because I was looking up the ending. No, I saw the ending. Okay. Um, next week we should watch. Cause we're not watching. We're, I'm going to try and avoid the horrors for next week because October's coming up. We need all the the spoopy movies for then. Uh, so maybe we'll. Uh... Cheers, Moshi. Thanks for the look. I don't really have choices at this point. I haven't really thought that hard about it. Uh, let me squeeze some stuff real quick. Hey, Skylar was here too. Let's see what I've got. I don't have much for now. Uh, mainly the stuff from my intro, because I thought that might carry me, but I kind of want to... If I can figure out where I put everything. 
Uh, yeah, we can watch Journey to the Moon. I do have that, but I think that's a short. So I'd have to like uh, bring up a couple of shorts to go with it. But I'm happy to do short day. Um, but then the following month, it's easy because I can do like uh, the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. I can do Nosferatu. Uh, I can do Greg Gabo. I can do um, Night of the Living Dead, of course. So yeah. Um, so I suppose it's uh, shorts next week. That sounds good. Shoot people. We'll give him. We'll give the short people a reason to live. Would you like to be in on like when we watch Cabinet, Bat Prince? You want to be a special guest for that episode? Special guest host. You want to come sit in the cinema that you will be sitting in any week, every week, anyway. So yeah. Um. We'll do shorts. We'll, we'll see. I'll see if I can find any more sci-fi shorts, and we'll do like a sci-fi shorts hopefully next week. And then the following week will probably be Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, featuring Bat Prince. And beyond that, who knows where we're going to go from there? Um, we're just going to do a spooky month, and then if I, I will definitely wear shorts. But I don't know if I've got sci-fi shorts. I should. I'll see if I have any like crappy shorts I can like. Um, I don't know. Do something with. Maybe I'll like stick some tin foil to them so that they should they're sparkly, and look all futuristic. Yeah. But anyway, this has been fun. Let's not uh, wear out our welcome. Uh, first, I should find someone to raid. So let's see who's live. And then we will uh, head to the outro. I th think... Uh, see, is there anyone doing anything particularly... I see. That dude will be finishing shortly. Uh, it's tough. Anyone got any suggestions? Flash Gordon shorts, just put a lightning bolt on them. It's a great idea, right? All right, so finding someone to raid is the hardest part. Let's see. Oh, there's an idea. We'll raid someone playing Jurassic World Evolution because dinos, you know? Someone who doesn't have many viewers or any viewers, if there's anybody. No, we don't want this guy's bragging about 4K, so I don't really care for that. Uh, let's see, someone with a webcam, if possible. Keep the dinosaur theme going, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this guy. Okay, found someone to raid. Oh, Chris is going to be live in a minute. Okay, we'll wait that minute then, Chris. If you're actually on live, I'll wait for you. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll head to the outro, though. So, thanks everyone for watching. This has been a, another really awesome episode. I actually enjoyed doing the... Um, I really enjoyed doing the silent film. I think... I didn't think it was going to go as well as it did. I didn't think I'd, I'd enjoy it as much because of how much more I had to talk, but that was actually quite fun. 
So yeah, um, if Chris is actually going live, we'll actually host him. Uh, and for now, I'll... oh no, it's green. There we go. The green's still there. Um, yeah, so hopefully Chris goes live in the meantime. Again, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you guys around. Mm -hmm.